Welcome to State of Tech. Here's an iPhone 6 tip for you. I'm going to show you how continuity works. We're going to open up our settings, we're going to come into general, and we see handoff and suggested apps. Come into here and we'll be able to turn and enable handoff and suggested apps on or off. Now handoff lets you start something on one device and pick it up on the other using your iCloud account. So any devices you're trying to use handoff for, say your iPhone and iPad, your iPhone and Mac, your iPad and Mac, you want to make sure that they're both signed into the same iCloud account. Then what's going to happen is on the lock screen in the app switcher and on the dock of your Mac, you'll be able to see the application that you're currently in. So if I come into multitasking, let's go ahead and go into the app switcher. I'm going to swipe over to the left. You see this from iMac and it has a Safari icon. What this is, is if I tap on it, it's going to open up in my actual Safari app the web page that I was previously viewing on my computer. So this is cool if I was, say, doing a text message or composing an email or anything like that. It's going to show up right there in my app switcher and allow me to quickly jump into it. And notice they also mentioned the lock screen. So I'm going to go ahead and lock my device. You'll notice in the bottom left hand corner we have the Safari icon. So if I tap and swipe up on that, it'll go ahead and enter my passcode. And now it's going to open up that same web page that was on my computer right here on my device. And again, if I was in messages, it would be a messages icon. If I was actually in my mail, it would be a mail icon. So it's really cool, this whole handoff feature. And we're going to come back into our settings. You see we have suggested apps from my apps in the App Store. Now this will show installed apps or suggestions relevant to your current location on the lock screen and in the app switcher. This can be really handy if an application has been updated for it. For example, Starbucks is a prime example of this. You can be on your way to Starbucks or you're actually in a Starbucks and the actual icon could show up in your lock screen and app switcher. So that way while you're waiting in line to actually pay for your Starbucks, you could open up the app and have it ready to go by the time you get up to the line without having to search for it on your device. So these handoff and suggested apps are going to make it easier if you're using multiple devices to keep track of where you are in certain areas. So that way you can pick up your messages whether you're on your iPhone or your iPad. The same with mail or vice versa or even Safari. And suggested apps will make sure that you have the app that you need based upon where you are. So that is how continuity works on your iPhone. For more iPhone tips, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.